Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to draw a portrait today. Okay, remember a portrait is a picture of a person and we're trying to capture their, um, ideally we're trying to capture their likeness and potentially their mood, all right? But for the most part, um, what we're going to do is for our purposes, we are going to, um, we're going to just focus on the person themselves and not necessarily exactly what they look like, okay? So I'm just gonna do a general portrait. I'm not trying to uh, make it a self-portrait or a picture of anyone in particular, all right? So I'm gonna start with the top of my head, all right? I have my paper vertically, so I'm gonna start giving myself a little bit of room from the top, and I'm gonna draw the top of my head. Okay, now I'm using darker pencil lines than what I normally would just so that way you guys can see this, all right? So now I'm bringing down one side and I'm going to bring down another the other side, okay? So for the most part, my face or the face that I am drawing is going to take up a large portion of the paper. I have an extra line here and there that I need to erase. So I'll erase, erase. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line dividing the face in half. All right, I realize it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can bring it in a little bit more. Okay, so I've got it dividing my face in half so I can check and go troop, troop, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna end up dividing my face into quarters. So now I'm going to divide it horizontally. So then if I go from here to here, it should be about the same. And it is. Okay, so I've got my face divided into quarters. This line right here, this horizontal line, this is where my eyes are going to sit. So I'm going to draw in the top of my eye. All right, and then I'm going to draw in the bottom of my eye. So that line kind of separates, or it doesn't really separate, it kind of goes through the center. All right, now, technically speaking, I should be able to fit seven eyes from ear to ear, all right, or from one side of your head, from one side of my head to the other side of my head. That's an approximation. Now, I should be able to fit an eye between my eyes, all right? and I already have this eye a little bit too far over. So I'm gonna erase that. I'm gonna try again, okay? I'm gonna bring it over, all right. Okay, so I've got my eye. It's kind of that almondy, football-y shape. So I'm gonna measure using my fingers. I go like this. I'm gonna go like this and get that space. I'm gonna put a mark there, go like this. I'm gonna put a mark here, so that way my eyes should be, I'm gonna double check my work here. My eyes should be the same size by marking that way, okay? I had to go back and double check, so from this corner to this corner. They're about right, okay? So now I'm going to draw my second eye. Okay, so I've got my eyes. I, 
that are in the center of my head. This here is the very top of my head. This is not my hairline. This is the top of my head. So my eyes are in the center of my head. Halfway between my eyes and my chin is my nose. So now I'm going to draw a line about halfway between. So I'm going to go from here to here. Oops, I'm still, I'm a little high. So I'm going to come down a little bit. I'm going to go from here to here, here to here. Yep, that's much better. All right, so don't be afraid to erase again. These lines that I'm drawing right now are very temporary. They will not be in my final picture. All right, so now I'm gonna come down here. I always focus on the bottom of my nose and to draw the bottom of my nose, I start off with this very stretched out kind of uh, letter U shape. It's just like a curved line and I just start right there and I just draw the center of the nose or the ball of your nose. Everybody's nose looks slightly different. And then I'm going to add my nostrils on the right and on the left. Okay, which is basically the same shape that I did before. Okay, I know I make the nose look very easy, um, but it's, it's actually pretty hard. I know that. Okay, so I simplify it and I just go whoop with the sketchy line and then I add the nostrils on and then I always end up having to go back and kind of play with it. But for right now, I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to go on. So between the bottom of my nose and my chin, halfway is my mouth. Okay, so I'm going to divide this in half again. I'm going to use my fingers again as my unit of measure. I'm going to go shoop. All right, I did pretty good. Now, my mouth... The top lip is going to go on top of this line and the bottom lip is going to go on the bottom. So what I'm going to do, or underneath, the bottom lip is going to go underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in what's called the cupid's bow, which is the, where our lips kind of come together. Some people have really pointy um, cupid's bows. Some people have very flat ones, but it usually has something very similar to this. Some um, women, especially if they wear lots of makeup, they will kind of exaggerate how that actually looks. But we kind of go like that, and then we bring in our bottom lip. Some people have very full bottom lips. Some people have, like, hardly any bottom lip. It just really depends. Like I said, we're not making a portrait. We're just drawing a person, okay? And I feel like the mouth is a little too small. Right. Okay. That looks slightly better. It might still be kind of big. All right. So I have a very basic general person drawn out here. I'm not quite done yet. All right. So from the, sorry, you can't see, from the eyes to the nose is where the ears go. So my ears, I'm going to draw very simply, they're very skinny, oval-like shapes, and there's two of them, one on each side, okay? So they go from the top of your eyeballs to the bottom of your nose. That is how glasses can sit on the bridge of our nose, and we can see through them because they attach behind our ears, all right? Now, the neck. Your neck comes down from behind your ears, all right? It does not just exist underneath your chin. Your neck comes down from behind your ears. And then it's going to curve out into your shoulders. Curve out into your shoulders, all right? Then while we're down here, we'll add in a collar for the shirt. So we've got our collar for our shirt. There we go. We can come back and add more to that later. All right, so let's come back up here. So eyes, we're not quite done with them yet. But at this point, I feel like these are pretty well set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to erase these lines that I've drawn. That is why I said they are temporary. They are not part of your finished product. 
if you have drawn them so hard that you cannot go back and erase them easily, well, good thing it's practice, right? If you are on your white paper and it is not practice, well, hopefully you can cover them up somehow because we don't want a bunch of extra lines running all over our portrait here. I shouldn't need a little need a little work here. There we go, that's better. All right. So I erased those extra lines. All right, let's look back at the eyes. All right. Your eyes have your eyeballs are actually balls. Okay, they are spheres. All right. And they fill in between your eyelids, which is what gives them that almond shape, okay? So you've got, they touch the top and the bottom. Now, if you're very, really surprised, you might see the white of your eye around um, your eyelid. You might be able to see the white that is actually around all of your eye. But for the most part, we don't normally, okay? So then your, your pupil sits inside your iris. So this circle right here is your iris, which is the colored part of your eye. Your pupil sits inside of it, okay, in the middle. Now, your pupil does not float around inside your iris. I know on cartoons it looks that way, but um, your eyes will move within the eyelid that gives it that almond shape. So your pupil is here in the center, or as close to the center as you can get. Your pupil is... Um, what allows you to um, see things because it is the opening with which the light enters our eye and allows us to see, all right? Yes, science class, here we are, right? So, your hairline comes down about a fourth of the way onto, your for onto this part, okay? So this is the very crown of your head. Your hairline comes down about a, somewhere between, in, I would say about a fourth of the way down, all right? So, I always draw a girl, but some people, if you would like to draw a boy, I really don't care. So if we're drawing a boy, we're going to draw our hairline, okay? So it would be like, use a curved line to show where the hairline is, okay? And then you're going to bring it down towards your ears and get your sideburns however you would like your side, the sideburns to be drawn, okay? Now, girls, you have a hairline as well, and if you have a really super short haircut or you've got one of those haircuts where maybe part of the head is shaved, then you might have some of that going on. Now, I have a hairline, but, um, you know, yeah, I don't necessarily have really, I don't have short hair, as you know. So, I don't usually have this sported buzz look, okay? So, guys, you can go back and you can add um, some extra volume of hair up here and show that the hair is maybe longer. All right, because this is like a buzzed, I have hardly any hair kind of military or maybe I just shaved all my hair off type of look, okay? And some of you rock that all the time, you know, um, and some of you don't. You kind of got that longer hair going on and so then you'd want to add more, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase some of this because I'm not going to use all of this, all right? So that's how we can kind of draw that um what our hair looks like on our forehead okay well, actually it's before our forehead all right so for my girl hair i always start with where my hair parts or where the hair is going to part and then i can swoop it down i almost always have my hair behind my ear so i always kind of swoop their hair towards their ear swoop their hair towards their ear guys if you have longer like hair and bangs what you would want to do is you would want to draw your bangs coming from your hairline, okay? There's lots of different ways to draw hair. I just kind of stick with a very basic, easy way. And then I'm going to add some additional volume to the top of my head because my hair does have some wave to it. It does, you know, people don't have just this flat head, you know, so I'm going to kind of redefine where the edge of the top of my head is by doing that. I'm going to erase the extra line. Okay, so I've kind of getting my, the hair on this person. I know I keep saying mine, but it's, it, it's my person, right? So I'm going to bring in down the hair that comes behind. Maybe I've got some that comes on the shoulder. 
okay? I'm just going to kind of draw the shape that is the hair. Notice I'm not drawing a bazillion lines. I'm just kind of giving some, giving the idea that the hair is there and that there are um, individual pieces to it, okay? So from this point, for our particular portrait, we've got our contour lines. We have all the important things in there, and this is all I really would need. Oh, eyebrows. So your eyebrows sit like right here. And I actually am like really bad at drawing eyebrows, but they sit like right here. Okay, and you can make them fuller, thinner, you know, however you need to. All right, and mine don't really look the same, but uh, my eyebrows just don't, my personal eyebrows don't show up very well. They're fairly light in color. So I guess I don't normally focus too much on eyebrows. I know I have not gone in and added eyelashes. Um, for the most part, this is a very simple one, and I would go back and add eyelashes at the very end. This is not something that I would, at this point in a contour drawing, go back and add. But um, if you would like to, I'm going to come in here on an eye here real quick. Woo, isn't that pretty? So for eyelashes, you're just going to go like this from start at the inside corner and you're just gonna go like this. Just very, very quickly, very simply, okay? You're not going to go back and add like a bazillion of them. I don't usually even add bottom lashes just because they always look very fake to me, that it always looks overdone. Guys, if you don't want, you men have very long eyelashes, but they're usually, you know, unless they're like super dark or you're really close, you can't really see them. Okay, so contour portrait drawing for this first part of our project. This is all I need. Okay, you're going to take a picture of this. You're going to turn it in. You're going to, well, you're going to take a picture of this one and you're going to take, draw another one and you're going to turn it in. I'm going to zoom out from here. Let me see here if I can get you a picture of, oops, sorry, the cord's there picture of all of it. There you are. Okay. A contour portrait drawing. 